the line book in Osamari is that the activity on the surface is much reduced. You're seeing here a thermal image of the last two weeks of eruption showing that large outburst and then here the reduction in activity in the top part of the image there. So that lower right lava body, this is what I call the western basin. This has remained fairly constantly steady, although lava level in here has dropped as well and it's become fairly sluggish. You can't tell as well because of the speed of the time lapse. But the biggest change is obviously here in the eastern far part of this camera view where last week we had activity coming from the, the southern fountain within this eastern lake switching to the central vent that then poured into and refilled that basin and continued that lake and both of those sources have shut off uh, this past week here that's how it visually looks uh, i plotted for you guys on here this is the whole last month uh, of precipitation here at the national park the visitor center on top and on the bottom, we have the tilt plot from Kilauea Summit for the past month as well. So what you can see here is uh, these are numbers on top of inches per hour, and these are every bar is one hour. So this is how many inches per increment here. So you can see there are several periods of time where you got an inch and a half, uh, over an inch. In total, the rainfall at the summit of Kilauea was reported by the USGS to be over one foot, uh, 0.3 meters. Some of the gauges I've looked at suggest it might be as much as 17 or 18 inches that fell in the area. So a huge amount of water um, likely affected the tilt signal. The tilt signal is what you see here in the bottom, and you see that previously we were having this pattern of, of uh, minor variations with small deflation inflation events, and even these were causing surface uh, expressions. And when we had the combination of this is likely a steeper drop right here combined because of this large amount of water perhaps, it's not quite clear how, how these untangle. But after the rain stops, the pattern does continue still. And you see maybe a slightly reduced rate of deflation here, but followed by inflation, deflation, inflation, deflation. And actually, presently, we've started to reinflate again here since I made this graph earlier today. So likely some effect uh, of the rain on the monitoring signals. But really, these deflation inflation cycles are driven by deeper processes in the volcano. We think it's the magma plumbing that's adjusting gas rich and gas poor magma rearranging them within the volcano so some stuff's going to flush out and be replaced so you end up having a pattern of more bursts of gas rich lava punctuated by by uh pauses or near pauses and this in fact is a pattern that we saw about one year ago in the 2021 to 22 eruption so this is a time lapse from january to march 2022 and what you're seeing here is the last eruption of, of the kilauea summit showing a similar pattern, and maybe let me slow this down a little bit here. This is showing a similar pattern as what we might be getting into now, where you see the lava lake circulating and then pausing completely, bursting forward with a large expensive eruption and then pausing again. Sometimes not fully pausing, but just reducing its activity and dropping its lava level within the pit there. So that is the, the summary of Kilauea. And for Mauna Loa, We'll just share this image uh, from Raymond Nayert uh, to Hawaii Tracker. That's showing an image of the steam coming from a Mauna Loa lava flow, uh, taken from an image in the saddle road there. So that sums up the activity on our volcanoes for this past week.